Everyone wants a green lawn in the spring, but did you know that effort this fall could actually result in green grass next spring and summer? Adam Tolmes is a turf grass specialist with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach, and he joins us live now to share tips for uh, tips and timing rather for fall lawn care. Adam, thanks so much for joining us today. All right, well, people often think that their lawns, uh, you know, they think about it in the spring, but what we do actually in the fall can help our lawns for next year. Yeah, it's there's so much that goes into lawn care, and the fall is really the most important time, especially fall fertilization. If you can put out three quarters to one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet right now, and then again in late October, that's going to feed the roots of the plant. It's going to make a denser turf. It's going to help battle weeds and make you more drought drought tolerant plant next year uh, and anytime we can use a slow release fertilizer that's yeah. better for the turf and the environment all right so you know a lot of people especially those with animals like myself I've got three dogs a lot of dead spots in my yard so how can people help repair those dead spots yeah so right now we're in that magical window for overseeding uh, and so we always say People always call and they want to know when we can overseed and add seed to the yard. So we always say between August 15th and September 30th, and then next August 15th, September 30th. So we want to poke holes, try to rough up the ground, okay. uh, get the dead turf away, and then put the seed in there, and then remember to water it for the next couple weeks. So you're saying that uh, now is the time to plant the grass seed, not in April or May when we're done with the frost. Yeah, now's the time. The soil temps are warmer. There's uh, less weed pressure, so you're going to have better success with your grass seeding than if you do it in the spring when you're battling all those. Yeah, good, good to know. I think most people, or maybe it's just me that waits till spring, but uh, what do you have to say about aerating yards? Yeah, so aerating yards, that's the process of poking a hole in the yard. Um, it's mm -hmm. an undervalued uh step that most people take sure uh, and really what the key there is is it's going to help remove compaction and improve when it rains for the water to actually go into your soil so the turf can benefit from it uh, and then it reduces thatch which improves the uh, health of the turf grass plant lowers your chance of disease and insect pressure okay and I, I think a lot of people you know they, they spend their weekends kind of uh, getting their yards ready they're doing some lawn mowing so what's your suggestion about long mow lawn mowing habits here in the fall months yeah, so that's the one thing people are kind of tired of, uh, but keep mowing at three inches. That's a good okay. height of cut. Uh, also, you know, it's been a little drier. The forecast looks a little drier for the next couple of weeks. And so, um, you know, it's going to slow down a little bit. You can take a time off if it's not growing real fast. And then when those leaves fall, just go ahead and mulch those in. Typically, that's free fertilizer oh, okay. uh, for the yard. and You don't have to bag it and haul away the leaves. So that's a win-win for everybody. There you go. So with the dry weather, do you suggest that we still kind of water our lawns at this point in time? Yeah, so with the dry weather, uh, kind of make the decision. Either you're going to jump all in and continue to keep the grass green or let it go dormant. Um, but don't go back and forth where you water it for a week, then you get the water bill and decide that that's too high. Uh, and so that's really hard on the turf, and that's when you start to kill it. So one thing or the other is typically what we say. All right, and of course, you can get more information on lawn and turf at iastate.edu. Adam Tomes with the ISU Extension and Outreach, we thank you so much for your time today and uh, useful information here as we head to the fall season. Yeah, thank you lots. Of course. Thanks, Adam.